And wait, honey, is the coffee ready? Put down your paper. What for? So you can see it. Thanks. Toast. Thank you. What's so important in the paper? Snyder hit a homer, but the Dodgers dropped one anyway. What time is it, honey? It is now exactly 7.49 and a half a.m. Thank you. Well, looks like a real nice day coming up, huh? And don't forget to put on your rubbers. It's going to rain. Hmm. What do you know? Michael, hmm? do you suppose your boss and his wife will come to dinner in the rain? Well, sure, honey. They wouldn't disappoint us. They know how we've been looking forward to it. Who's been looking forward to it? Mary, everything's gonna be all right. That's what you think, but I... I just can't help worrying. Well, now, look, remember to get a steak. The boss likes steak. Black on the outside and rare inside. I know, dear. You told me. Relax, honey. Just relax. Yeah, and be careful with that new broiler. Now, now, don't have it on the same time as the toaster. You'll blow a fuse like you did last night. Well, I'll try to remember. Honey, you gotta remember. Be like me. I never forget a thing. So long, honey. Bye, darling. Uh, where's my umbrella? Well, don't you remember? You forgot it at the office. Oh. Uh, what'd you do with my paper? You put it in the pocket of your jacket. Uh-uh. No, other side. Oh. And your hat? On or... my head. I know, dear. I put it there. <laughs> so long, honey. Bye, dear. And uh, don't forget about that broiler. Tonight's the night. Everything okay now? Anything I can do to help? No, thank you, dear. Just keep out of my way. Uh, you got steak, I hope. Yes. Well, what's the matter? Well, well, I'm worried about the broiler. It was so slow the last time, and, and the book that came with it says 10 to 12 minutes on each side. I mean, the boss likes some black on the outside and rare... Inside, I know. You said that last night, this morning, the night before. Just wanted to remind you, that's you all. Remind me once more, I'll scream. Don't scream, just follow the book. That's what I did last week. You remember how the steak came out. Hmm, shoe leather. Why didn't you take the broiler back? I did. The man tested it. He says there's nothing wrong with it. Maybe the trouble is in our, our wiring. What am I supposed to do? I'm asking you. Look, Mary, what goes on in this house is your department. Now, I don't ask you how to run my office. I thought we'd get around to that. And look, why don't you go wash up, dear? Oh, and shut off the air conditioner. I'm going to warm up the broiler. Okay, okay. I was just trying to be helpful, that's all. Oh, and remember, when they're here, don't turn the air conditioner back on while we're using the coffee maker, or... If... I'll blow a fuse. I know. You just concentrate on that steak. I 
They're here, honey. Yeah, the boss and his wife. I know it, dear. I'll be right out. Mary, the lights went out. For the love of Pete, didn't I tell you not to... What happened? I don't know. You come here and tell me. Ah, that's the one. Yep, this is it, all right. Easy to change is a light bulb. <laughs> oh, you mean anyone can do it? Even my husband? No, no, my dear. Uh, Robert, uh, how can you tell which fuse is the one that's burnt? Well, by, uh, by comparing it with the other, sir, you uh, can tell by the way it looks. Oh. Well, how does it look? Well, it, uh, it looks burnt. Oh, I see. And you got to be sure the replacement is the same size. Size? Yeah, you take out a 15 amp, you put in a 15 amp. Oh. Remember that, Martha. You remember it. Well, uh, shall we go up for dinner now? Let Harold is probably <laughs> starved, if I know Harold. Yep, I can eat a horse with pleasure. Well, everything will be ready in just a few minutes. I hope, I hope. <laughs> Lovely dinner, Mrs. Roberts. Well, thank you for being polite. Oh, you know. oh, I didn't mind the steak. I like it well done. And Harold just adores cold cuts. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, as I was saying, Robert, uh, I may be in the paper business, but I know quite a bit about electricity. And it would seem to me that something must be wrong here. We've had all the appliances checked, sir. Must be inferior brands. Robert, that's what I call false economy. Oh, no, sir. They're, they're all standard make. Very best. Hmm. How's your television? Well, it's all right. Except when it gets kind of fuzzy and sort of shrinks. You don't say. Now, what I would do if I were you is... That's funny. What's funny? So does ours. So does ours what? Our TV set. It gets sort of fuzzy and shrinks, too. It does? You were complaining about it only last night. I was? When you were watching The Lone Ranger. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> I always watch it just to please Junior. <laughs> Junior was 60 miles away at his grandmother's. hi oh Silver! Would anyone like some more coffee? Yes, thank you. <sighs> well, nothing happened. No fuse blew. <laughs> well, it's just when the coffee maker and the air conditioner are on at the same time. <laughs> oh. Uh, mind if we uh, have a look at this TV? Uh, I understand there's an important debate on. Debate? between the Giants and the Dodgers. <laughs> oh. Well, let's try it. Huh. It works. <laughs> Is it fuzzy? Well, give it a chance to warm up, honey. You know, Robert, uh, I was reading something lately about defective wiring. Oh, not defective, dear. Insufficient. Will you let me tell it? Who read it? I read it, and to you, in yesterday's paper. It said that a survey had been made showing how widespread this inadequate wiring is, even in brand new houses sometimes. It That's proves nothing, absolutely nothing. It proves what's wrong with our apartment, and why the appliances only half work, and why the fuses blow. And you do nothing about it. What am I supposed to do? Rewire an 18-story apartment house? Tell your landlord, the article said. Ridiculous. The landlord's a good friend of mine. There can't be anything wrong with our wiring. I'm getting kind of warm here, don't you think? Does this air conditioner work? Oh, yes, sir, but then why not use it? No, please, sir. I'd rather use it. Nonsense, Robert. <laughs> 
Thank you so much, my dear, for an enchanting evening. Oh, I'm Captain so sorry, Mr. Skidmore. Oh, think nothing of it. Anytime you want a blackout, just invite my husband. Now, wait a minute. Darling, are you sure we haven't any more fuses? Yeah, I'll get some more in the morning. I think we better call in the electrician about some new wiring. You do? Well, I'm gonna go out and look for a new house. Good night, Miss Skidmore. Good night. Good night, Good dear. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, Mr. Skidmore, better watch those front steps in the dark. Don't you worry about me, little girl. 2020 vision, that's what I've got. Always eat plenty of cock. Looks okay. Mm -hmm. Sound construction, good insulation and plumbing, but uh, what about the electric wiring? Well, Mr. Roberts, this house has every modern convenience. Plenty of electrical outlets all over the place. Oh, yes, but what about the wiring? Well, now, this is a brand new house, madam. Just built. I know that. As a matter of fact, this is the last house in this development. Could you want a better testimonial than that? Do you know, sir, that out of 27 units, 26, I repeat, 26 have been sold in less time sure, than it takes to... Sure, sure, to... sure, they're great. But what I want to know is why ah, about yes. the wiring. Well, we haven't had any complaints yet. But do you know why, sir? Because it's all brand new. Well, what of it? I telephoned the electric company this morning, and they told me that some of the new houses are wired no differently than the old ones. Now, what size wiring is it? Well, I think this house is four circuits and number 14 wire. Well, that's what we've got. Huh? The Con Edison man told me. And that's why our fuses blow and our appliances don't work right. And our house was wired back in 1926, long before television and air conditioners. And, and home freezers. I want to get a freezer. Yeah, and uh, electric blankets, dishwashers, uh, broilers. And mixers, dryers. Oh, what I wouldn't give for an electric clothes dryer. And ironers. Mary, if we've got to do any rewiring, let's call in an electrician and do it in our own house. Exactly. Thanks very much, sir, for your time. Thank Bye. you. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. And the fuses blow all the time, and even worse, the appliances only half work. Well, I've looked over your wiring here, Mr. Roberts, and what you need is heavier installation and some new circuits. Uh, do you realize your present wiring isn't any bigger than the lead in that pencil? As it is now, your appliances don't get the voltage they're designed for. This house isn't so old. Why should the wiring system be bad? Well, it isn't that it's bad, Mr. Roberts. It's just that it's inadequate. And do you want to know why? Because just a few years ago, when this house was built, there were maybe, oh, 20 or so appliances available to the homeowner. Today, there are more than 100. Now, you wouldn't believe it, but they're still wiring houses today, just like they did in 1926. We don't have so many appliances. No, ma'am, but each one of them needs 120 volts. And that's what the electric company supplies you with. There's always 120 volts out there in the street. More juice than you could ever possibly use. But, uh, well, getting back to the question of appliances, well, you see, when you have more than one of them in use at the same time, well, I'm talking about air conditioners, broilers, and things like that, then not one of them gets that 120 volts because of the inadequate wiring. Is that why it took so long to cook those steaks? You got it, Mrs. Roberts. Yeah, a lot of folks start yipping about the manufacturer or the electric company, but it isn't their fault. It's the inadequate wiring. Now, let me show you what I mean. Now, take a look at this. Your electric company delivers plenty of power to your home. It comes to you in heavy cables and great quantities. That's why you have a fuse box. Each fuse lets the power out through a circuit of wires in quantities the wires can safely handle. Each circuit has outlets where appliances can be plugged in. Lamp, TV set, toaster, Everything is in harmony. But too many appliances pulling power through the same wires weaken the power to all. 
Like four straws and one soda. And when the broiler hits the same circuit, the fuse blows. We need a bigger fuse? Nope. It's safer to burn out fuses than wiring. What you need are two more circuits to the kitchen. I'll have more outlets. An extra circuit to the living room for the air conditioner and one to grow on. And all the circuits with heavier wiring to safely carry more power. So they won't interfere with each other. Right. Then all your appliances can work at full power and in harmony. Pretty good to me. Yes, sir. It'll do the job, and it's not too expensive, either. Oh, here's the uh, estimate. Well, that's not too bad. And it's worth it. It sure is. What do you say, Mary? When can you start? Next week. It's a deal. <sighs> Chops in the broiler, TV, air conditioner, coffee maker. Now, this is what I call living. <laughs> ah, thanks, honey. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Skidmore. This is Robert. Oh, hello, Robert. How's every little thing? Terrible. Oh. Well, what I called about was, did you see Snyder smack that one over the fence? He did? Well, maybe you were watching a game. <clears throat> uh, not me, Roberts. Uh, I have other things, important things on my mind. Goodbye. Now, see here. Big things are going on in the world these days. Congressional inquiries, debates, world-shattering events. You've got to get this darn television set fixed so it works. It's not the television set, Mr. Skidmore. It's your wiring. Then do something. Draw up a plan. I'll take it to the landlord myself. To rewire this whole apartment house? Yes. When can you have it? Tomorrow? Oh, it'll take me a little longer than that. Okay, get going. And when you get a chance, drop down to my plant. I want you to have a look at the wiring there. Sure thing, Mr. Skidler. I'll show him around here. I'll show him how a top executive gets things done. Martha? Yes, dear? I'm going to change my clothes and I'm going out. Oh, but I thought the Newtons are coming over to play bridge. Martha? To a man with my responsibilities, there are some things more important than playing bridge. See you later. But, uh, but, uh... 